Hello everyone, this is the first video of a series of three to compare the educational practice in the mainland and Hong Kong. So as you may know, I received my elementary and secondary education in the mainland and my tertiary education in Hong Kong and now I'm working in Hong Kong as a teacher. So you could say that I have a little bit of first-hand information of both educational systems. and. By comparing these two systems, I hope to draw your attention to their respective strengths and weaknesses. Thereby, in the future, if you have this need, right, say for example, if you want to send your children to Hong Kong to study, at least you can make an informed choice to see if you if this is the best thing for your children. Yeah. So I hope that these videos can help you. Now, without further ado, let's get into the first aspect of comparison, which is the medium of instruction. So, medium of instruction means 教学语言, the language you use to teach. And in Hong Kong, you can basically divide the schools into two big categories, EMI schools, schools that use English as the medium of instruction, and CMI schools, schools that use Chinese as the medium of instruction. And their differences can be seen from two perspectives. First, in terms of the language teachers use in class, for EMI schools, English is the official language for teachers to conduct their lessons, including music and PE. The only two exceptions are Chinese and Chinese history, where of course teachers would use Chinese to teach. And then for CMI schools, the exact opposite is true. Chinese is the official language to conduct lessons, except for English and English literature. And apart from the language used in lessons, the language students and teachers use in other aspects of the school life is also related to the types of schools. So for EMI schools, English will be used in three main areas apart from uh, in the lessons. First is in school programs, in assemblies, in any kind of big programs uh, conducted in a school. Second is in student activities. So for example, when a student union organizes some activities, the official language will be English. Number three is in students' communication with teachers. No matter it is a spoken context or a written context, they should use English. So I guess you could say that students have a lot of opportunities to use English in their daily life, and they treat, really treat English as a tool for communication. And I guess for CMI schools, because I haven't worked in a CMI school before, uh, but I guess Chinese will be the official language to conduct all the above activities I have mentioned. And now I would like to talk about the impact of choosing different types of schools. So if you study in an EMI school, then the main benefit is about your exposure to English. You have all kinds of chances to use English, and that's why you just get you just become very natural when you speak English and you are very used to accustomed to uh, using English for communication. You really treat English as a tool, not just a subject. Um, but of course, the drawback is that your Chinese may not be as good as those students who study in a CMI school. That's of course a, a sacrifice you have to make. And then for CMI school students, uh, the exact opposite will be the case. They will have more chances to practice Chinese, but um, that will sacrifice the opportunities they have to practice their English. Of course, nothing is absolute, right? So even for students in CMI schools, they can have very, very good English. I've seen students from a CMI school uh, who could speak very, very good English. And students in EMI schools can also use Chinese very well, right? So it's I think it's all about individual preferences and how much hard work you put into learning different languages. So I hope this video can give you some insight and inspiration uh, into these two types of schools in Hong Kong. And in my next video, I'll be talking about the curriculum structure in Hong Kong and the mainland. And I will focus on the English curriculum because that's what I'm familiar with. So if you're interested,